In this question, we're going to draw a triangle with sides of 6 cm, 8 cm, and 5 cm. So we're going to draw the 8 cm side first, because that's the longest, so we're going to draw that as the baseline. Now it's important when you draw your lines to look directly on top of the ruler, so that you can look straight down and uh, measure these points. If you look from an angle, you're going to get a thing called parallax error, and you might just put the line slightly in the wrong place. So look directly down on your ruler. So first of all, I'm going to mark a little notch here, at this end of the line, so just following that line up and make my notch, following the line up here, make my notch, 8 centimetres, then I'm going to draw the base. Now that's quite important, having these little notches on the end, because if you just try and draw the line, you probably won't get it exactly right, but by putting those notches in the right place, you know exactly where the ends of the line are. So <clears throat> there's my 8 centimetre line. Now, if you're using one of these uh, sorts of compasses, um, fairly basic kind of compass, um, very cheap, but make sure you've screwed this uh, little screw in here nice and tight so that the whole thing uh, keeps itself fairly rigid. And also, um, when you put your pencil in, make sure your, the end of the lead lines up about with the end of the point there, otherwise it's going to be very difficult to use. So first of all, let's um, put the point on the base here, on zero, and open that out to exactly six centimeters again make sure you look straight down on this thing so you can see what's going on now we've got our six centimeter side here we're going to put uh, this side here I quite often find if I just put my finger up against here I can sort of rest that on the page and make sure that that goes exactly into the right place and now just ease that round like that Okay, nice light line, nothing too heavy. Okay, and that's my six centimetre line. So every point, uh, six, six centimetre arc, every point on that arc is six centimetres away from this point here. Bring this ruler in again. Now we need to measure the five centimetre side. So pull that back to five centimetres. There we go, exactly five centimetres. Then again, use this part of the finger just to rest that on the page, ease the point down to the point where it needs to be. There we go, on the end of that line. And again, just pull that round nice and easily. Uh, always pull the compass round because uh, it's much easier to get a nice accurate arc in that way. So put that off to one side. Now put your pencil on the paper in the point where you want to uh, draw the line from. Bring the ruler up to the pencil and then swivel it round to the right position. Just check that your lead hits the, pen hits the page in the right place there. And I can draw that part of the line. And then again, pencil onto the page, ruler up to the right place and just check that that's going to go into the right place, okay, just slot it in there, okay, that's good and now draw that up. Then finally 8 centimetres, 5 centimetres and 6 centimetres. Then just check that everything's still in the right place. So that there does appear to be 8 centimetres, this here does appear to be six centimeters and this here fingers crossed is five centimeters you'll get about one millimeter leeway possibly two millimeters if they're feeling a little bit generous um, in the question so try to make this as accurate as possible nice sharp pencil uh, decently uh, adjusted compass and a good straight clear ruler to make it easy to use